Okay, hey, I'm Brian Sapp with Going Local. We're live out on Plymouth. I'm gonna take my time setting the scene so we can let more people see this. If you have friends and family outside of Goshen or even those in Goshen and you want them to see what it's like here on Plymouth Avenue, hit that share button, hit the like, and let's get some people seeing this so they can see what's going on because it's gonna get dark soon and you're not gonna be able to see what's happening out here in Goshen. So we've spent the day traveling Goshen staying off the roads we were traveling before the mayor issued a state of emergency we have a helicopter coming over so it's kind of loud okay so go ahead and get started anytime you feel like it share this video so we can show people what's happening here in goshen um right now it's really been isolated in this area along the river of course the flooding i think that that's the biggest thing um, other parts of town have been really great we've been on the northwest side over by the martins it's dry over there you wouldn't know we've been over on the southeast side of town it's been dry nothing over there so it's when you get really to the middle uh, we're in on plymouth avenue and if any of you remember last summer when pike street was closed and we only had lincoln and plymouth to go across plymouth is closed Lincoln's closed. Pike Street is open across the river, but they just closed that a while ago. My last live shot, I did a video about how traffic was so bad. We were coming back through town. They had it closed up by 3rd Street and Pike, so you can't get down this way. So the three east-west roads through town are closed. So that's really a headache. And so we're here, Plymouth Avenue. We're just uh, west of Shanklin Park. I'm gonna have my camera person Allison who's been with me all day doing a great job bringing these lies we're gonna come around this way Allison so here's the parks office underwater that was up to the bottom of the office last night so now we're gonna come around this is Plymouth Avenue come on Allison so the river is over there Plymouth is closed over here so this is unbelievable the water is rushing across the road take a look at this we will thank you Sarah we'll um, be careful uh, the river is gonna crest at 1 a.m. tonight well that's what we've heard and it's gonna get up to 13 feet a little over 13 feet is the crest as Allison said the National Weather Service the last chart we've seen and said it's supposed to crest at about 13 feet at 1 a.m. so no so it's gonna be a little bit higher let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more you can see that water rushing across the road and that's and if we zoom in a little bit more, this isn't even that deep. It's like out here, stay, stay where you're at, Allison. Point up a little bit right there. So this is, let me get my finger in here. <laughs> so this is as we approach, there's a little field over here. And then you start going up the road here and it's even deeper over this way. And kind of this way a little bit as we move over, right behind, right straight through there is Goshen Middle School. So let's back out a little bit. So Goshen Middle School is right over this hill. And those of you familiar with Goshen, those of you not, it sits on the corner of Plymouth and Indiana. Plymouth is closed, Indiana's closed. So there's really, you gotta go way around to get to the middle school. And that's where I teach. And it's just really amazing that all these roads are closed. Uh, we were just talking to uh, a gentleman and his daughters were out here watching the river. And he was talking about it's like i'm okay my my stuff's okay but you're watching in it and i talked about it, it's like a disaster in slow motion and, and so it's just really interesting that other people are seeing that and so we really hope that everybody's doing okay and i know as the days go on we'll find ways to help those people because that's just the way goshen is now let's go back and people have asked about shanklin park i wanted to we've gone and gone around town and i wanted to go talk about shanklin park so as we walk allison's gonna kind of just videotape as we walk by here Uh, I don't know what the odds are that we're going to go to school tomorrow. No, I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> as Allison said, not likely, but I'm not A, a meteorologist, and B, I'm not the superintendent. I don't get paid enough to make those decisions. Um, I don't know how much the waters are going to recede. It takes a while. If you look at the, the map, we, uh, let's see, this is the park office here. If you look at the, the map from the National Weather Service, uh, it takes a while for that water to recede. So here's the parks office. Now when it gets 
I've seen it get up to the bottom of the building here before when it floods but this is it's I don't know if it's inside or not they had some sandbags but as you can see it's over the sandbags if they had them I think there's only so much sandbagging you could do um, as Allison and I have gone through town the last live live report we did was over on um, on uh, Chicago and Pike and traffic was bad through there and so we went to the other side of town we checked out Wilden Wilden's okay it's pretty clear we were by the uh, Creekside mobile home park that's underwater like it was but that was evacuated this morning um, so we can see that that was evacuated Wilden was pretty clear Wilden in Indiana it was uh, there was some water on the road but it was really minimal um, so here we are this is the Elkhart River as it goes through let's pan over Allison and look so here's here's the river this bridge is connects it's a pedestrian bridge for people to get from one side of town to the other a lot of kids walk on this bridge as they go to school in the morning and uh, And then there's uh, the trail goes over there. So as you can see, you can't walk on the trail. Uh, Allison and I were on the mill race. The canal is fine. Um, it's, it's a little full, but it's all right. We were out at the Goshen Dam Pond earlier. That The pond was a little high, but not too bad. And I got a picture earlier of a deck that must have washed away. We ran into a friend of uh, mine. His name's Dylan, Dylan Sturry, uh, pointed out. Actually, his brother Sky pointed it out and said hey i think that's a deck and when we zoomed in i got a picture of it i'll post it later it was uh slow down a little bit for me allison i can't walk that fast um when i got a picture of it and it's like the the railings of a deck against the buoys that keep people from going over the spillway it was it was really cool um scary and it's one of those things that it's just so amazing the power of the weather here and so we're almost to shanklin park i wanted to show everybody that uh, Shanklin Park can flood parts like the back part if you're familiar with Goshen the back part can flood and uh, Get a little deep, but I've not seen it like this if we look here Here's the uh, men's softball diamonds You got home plate underwater if we walk a little bit more Allison Got this parking lot here this parking lot is underwater that building straight across is a pool ironically enough I think the pool is dry yeah. the pool is dry over there because it's on a hill the pavilions on a hill that's okay it's about the same distance for the water but let's come over a little bit more and straight back there's a little uh, covering and straight back you see some more ball fields and you see some stands it's water as far as you can see i want to walk a little bit and give you a walk just a little bit further if you'll stay with me and while you're at it share this video so other people can see what's going on the tv stations have a limited number of resources so they can't get everybody out there but if you're concerned about goshen i live here used to be a tv guy i want to share what's happening here with you so if you could if you want to see more videos about things happening in goshen and elkhart great things great people doing great things check back like this page uh, check back later tonight I'm gonna have a video kind of wrapping up my day and be able to show you that and I got some great people I met last year doing great things so I don't want to do all breaking news or bad news I want to do good news so if you're into that kind of thing and knowing more about Goshen hit the like button and keep an eye on our page so as we go kids kingdom those of you are familiar with it is not underwater it's right up against it but it goes from Kids Kingdom all the way over here. And it's like three football fields long, at least, from the canal all the way out to where the river is. It's really amazing. So to wrap up today, because I got to get going, I got to put together a video. Well, I, Pike Street is closed. Lincoln is closed. Plymouth is closed. Check with the city. They're doing a great job. I've never felt like things were out of control. Um, you know, so that kudos to the first responders, to the street crews, and, and, and all those people getting them in the right spot. I really just think that they're doing a great job. Um, not 
I'm not putting on. It's just like I've never felt like anything was out of control. The firefighters, when they were helping those people get out of their homes, they were calm, cool, collected, professional, getting the people out of their homes, taking care of them, and just doing what they need to do. Nothing was unbelievably crazy. It's a disaster for those people who are directly impacted, but they were able to hopefully mitigate and keep people safe as they could. So just be aware, things are changing all the time. Like it took them some time to close down Pike Street to relieve more traffic, but that's because people were creating a problem, but maybe we didn't know. So just be careful, use some common sense when you're out there. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed these lives and just be careful and stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Have a great night.